In this Webflow tutorial, I'll teach you how to create a JavaScript back button. In this first example website, finnyhealth.com slash owl-providers, you can see this website is built in Webflow and it is using CMS as well as advanced CMS filtration through FinSuite, Filter and Sort. So right here, you can see I can actually filter by different CMS items or providers. Let me just go ahead and just click onto a bunch of them. Let's just say, for example, Denver, Eaglewood, um, this one here. And you'll notice that I've, I've now activated four filters. Sorry, five filters, I cannot count. And it's showing me three different items. Let's go ahead and click on Big Bear Behavior Solutions. And you can see this is taking me to an in-depth CMS page with all the information. And you'll notice that there's actually a back button right here that says go back. And when I click onto this button, rather than it taking me to a static page, it actually takes me exactly where I was before. And I'll show you what I mean. So if I hit go back, you'll notice that it's taking me, yes, to the page owl-providers, but you will also notice it actually saved all that filter for me. So I filtered five things. So if you notice, if I go to the go back button and I just link it to a static page and then the user goes go back, they'll lose all their fil filter um, queries. So this is a really good way for user experience in very, very specific cases. Um, this is just one example case. You might want to use a go back JavaScript button. Um, but that, that is, that is exactly what we're going to do. It's going to take less than 30 seconds. Let's jump into Webflow. Literally all you need to do is just have a button or a text link, um, or a link block right now. You can see you have a go back button right here and it is in a text link. And all you need to do is just paste in this code right here, which I'll leave in the description as well. But essentially it is this squiggly line on the top left, javascript dot dot history dot back in brackets, minus one, close brackets, and then close ellipses. And where it says minus one, you can actually change this number from let's say minus one to minus two. And if you put it to minus two, this will actually just jump the page two times instead of one time. So if you put one, it'll just go back one time. If you put two, it'll go back two times and so on, you know, three, three times, four, four times. Um, and that's it. That's literally all you have to do. You can go ahead and just publish the site once that's done. And you'll notice if I go onto the actual page and I click the go back button, nothing actually happens because I open this page in a new tab and it's my first time browsing this website. So the go back button actually doesn't work. So just keep that in mind. However, that being said, if I start off in a different page, let's just say the home page, then I'll go into back to that page right here and I go go back, then it will take me to that previous page. So that is a go back button using JavaScript. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you understand the pros and cons and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.